Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1857 florin from the reign of Queen Victoria. The coin we can see on screen now. I'll first go through the design of the coin and then move on to the facts and figures. So here we have the reverse design featuring four crowned cruciform shields around a central star in the centre. The top and bottom shield feature the three lines of England for England. To the left we can see the harp of Ireland for Ireland and to the right the lion rampant of Scotland for Scotland. Then between the shields you can see the national flowers of these countries. Once again two for England, so that there's two roses. We then have a thistle for Scotland and a shamrock for Ireland. Now up between the crowns around the edge we can see there the wording one florin, one tenth of a pound. This gives us the value of the coin which is one florin, which is one tenth of a pound. And around the rim we can see small teeth milling or beading on both sides to prevent the coin from being clipped. Although it's much more embellished and stylized on the, on the obverse here but it is still to prevent from clipping. This is the Gothic portrait, by the way, of Queen Victoria, with a very large and very ornate, beautiful crown on her head, her hair plaited and tucking back up under the crown, and a very detailed and lovely Gothic dress that Victoria is wearing. To her sides, we can see the legend in Latin, which read Victoria, DG, Brit Reg, FD, and then the date in Roman numerals. So this means in English, Victoria, by the grace of God, Queen of Britain, Defender of the Faith, 1857, so the year that it was struck, and Victoria's titles as Queen. So there is a design, a very acclaimed and lovely design indeed, but now moving on to the facts and figures of this Gothic florin from 1857, it was struck at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the coins are made at this time in history. The coin is composed of 0.925 silver, so this is 92.5% pure silver, or known as sterling silver, for the purity within this florin. The weight of it is 11.3 grams, as was first set in 1849, and the diameter changed in 1851, making it a little larger in diameter at 28.5 millimeters. The mintage for this year of Gothic florin is 1,671,120. So not extremely rare, but it is a slightly lower minted date than some other more modern ones. The florin coin is of course worth 24 pence. This is two shillings, and as the coin says, that is one tenth of a pound sterling. So there's ten of these to the pound. And back in 1857, when the coin was struck, one florin was equal to 14 pounds and 17 pence today. So some good buying power, almost 15 pounds worth of buying power in today's money. And it was demonetized in 1992 after serving as a 10 pence for a while after decimalization. Now then, moving on to the value of the coin today for a collector. It'll sell for around 30 pounds in poor condition around £65 in fine condition, £325 in extremely fine condition, and £800 in uncirculated grade. So a high price coin in the high grades, as often Gothic florins are very worn, but in a low grade, a starting price of around £30 makes it accessible to collectors looking to get this coin in their collection. So there we go. Please subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon for some more coins in the future on Bits and Bobs. Bye for now.